Hi folks, this is Tristan from Noisegate here with an exciting first look at Atria's brand new OBXA virtual instrument. Another meticulous recreation of yet another legendary analog synth, this time the Oberheim OBXA from the 1980s. Of course, a really nice, beautiful sounding polyphonic analog synth, which I'm sure you've heard many times before possibly on a track with this word in the title, which was a big hit around the time I was born, and I'm only willing to play this track in minor keys these days. So if it was written originally in a minor key, it would sound like this. Okay, if you want to hear that in the original major key, just open up YouTube or Spotify, type in this word, and it, the first bar or so should sound just like this patch in this plugin, because this is a very accurate, very faithful recreation of that original hardware. But of course, Atari have gone and added some really cool additional new features not found on the original to take it that step further or potentially in a more unusual sound design territory. So lots of fun stuff there. Of course, this instrument sounds great played just polyphonically. <laughs> with now up to 16 voices, but we can also stack up to eight voices in unison, just by turning unison on here. And you got big fat lead sounds with adjustable amounts of unison detune. Is that a bit of portamento? Or you can make it more out of tune to get that more kind of trancey anthemic sound. Or you can go very, very out of tune. Maybe that's too out of tune. Let's back it off a bit. Nice. Sounds good about this. Okay, one feature which I'm pretty sure wasn't present on the original OBXA version is this oscillator cross mod, where oscillator 2 can modulate oscillator 1. Just turn off the X mod amount for some kind of chaotic effects. Starts to get a bit more musical. That sounds pretty tough there. Here's without X mod. Here's with it. And the nice lush filter as well. All right, cool. Uh, one really interesting new feature in this plugin version is this spread section down here with two modes, pan and stereo. So pan works just by creating some stereo width by manually moving the eight voices across the stereo image. You can just manually move each voice left and right like this. And because of the cyclic nature of the voice triggering, it adds some movement as well as the steps through the voices. You can adjust the overall amount here. It's really simple but very effective. Uh, the second mode stereo sounds like it should work the same as pan, but it's quite a bit different. Here it's actually creating duplicates of certain synth components and moving them around the stereo image. So really unusual. Let's set everything back to default. Back these off. And first of all, the spread knob just adds some stereo width. So you go from this sort of sound to more of this sound. And then we can manipulate individual components, such as the oscillator, the filter, and the LFO. So first of all, the oscillator creates additional duplicate voices and makes detuned variants of them around the stereo image. Sounds great. And then we've got this movement section, which is like an LFO just for the spread section. So we can turn up the amount and the rate. We begin some visual indication of what's happening. Yeah, you can kind of see and hear those voices moving left and right. Very cool. And then we have the same thing for the filter. So let's just add a bit of filter resonance. Yeah, so now it's moving the output of the filter across the stereo image. Yeah, 
yeah, unusual, but very interesting. And lastly, you got the LFO. This can be kind of jarring if you do things like frequency modulation, but it can be more kind of subtle and nuanced if you apply it to, for example, pulse width modulation. Let's just get some square waves going, bring in some modulation, assign it to pulse width. So it's a subtle but very, very pretty sound. So a great way to just add some additional stereo width to tracks. Um, really nice. And of course, we can pop the lid and check out the now familiar looking Aturia modulation and effects section. The top we go modulation, and then we have effects on the bottom. So modulation wise, we have this five by six modulation matrix here to quickly route things like key velocity, key range, aftertouch, and the mod wheel to different destinations. And then we have four different functions, which operate like LFOs with more finer control over them. So let's take function one, route it to, for example, filter cutoff, turn up the amount, and just draw in a shape. There are also some kind of presets to get you started here, which we can fine tune further. choose things like length and speed, take it in and out of sync. Yeah, sounds really cool. And on the bottom, we've got the effects section. We can have up to three simultaneous effects, either in series or parallel. So really nice. Uh, got some reverb here. Okay, this has been a quick first look at Aturia's brand new OBXA virtual instrument. Please stay tuned for more videos, leave any questions or comments down below, and see you next time.